What's happening? We back in here on this LA North. I'm just gonna start off from where I left off. You know, if y'all subscribe to the other channel that I had before I got this channel back, y'all know where we left off. So we're gonna jump back in. This called a marriage made in heaven. So spam that like button, share for your boy. Ooh, man. Dang. That boy got hit hard. And if y'all don't know what L.A. Nor is, it's um, it's like it's a made by Rockstar, right, the same people who make uh, GTA Five. But we a police, you know, and we gotta North investigate crime scenes and whatnot, you know, gotta make way, sure we get enough evidence where we can car. bring the bad guy down. So we finna go jump up in this, you know. Where my partner? Okay, my boy. We finna go on and um, I guess we finna investigate this little, this little crime that just happened, that just went down. Go see uh, see all the information we can collect, so we can figure out who done it. And that's basically what this game is about. You know, you gotta um, gotta be able to tell if they lying, if they telling the truth, or if they, you know, what I'm saying withholding information. But we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. So let's go and jump into. I'm gonna let my partner drive. Can you drive to this one? Yeah. So we won't have to uh, be doing all this driving around. We can just get to our location. Looks like the DA is gonna. Come on, we skipping that, bro. I ain't trying to hear none of that. So hopefully you guys' weekend went well. You know my weekend was straight, but we pulling up. We gotta thoroughly investigate the crimes. Cause we um we don't collect enough evidence. Then like when we question the person, we ain't gonna have that evidence to present to them. So let's see what's happening. Over here. What's up, bro? Cole Phelps, traffic. What have we got? What we got? A white male named Lester Patterson walked out of the bar and into the street. Car hit over there, and he ended up here. Dead on impact by the look of it. Have you canvassed the area? The only one with anything useful to contribute is the young lady over there. She lives I gotta investigate this scene hey. first. No, it's not a stage name. 24 years old, she left Kansas to follow the yellow brick road. Is that so? We'll take a formal statement later. Right now we're gonna take a look around. He must done, he must not got into it with another dude over her. Can we check this head out? Freddy Krueger killed him. This is like a Freddy Krueger hat. What the hell? Okay, we can't do nothing with that. Uh, let's check out the body. Helps. Landed on his face and ended up here. Hey, boy, you behind. touching evidence, man. See what he got on him. That boy out of there, ain't he? Boy out of there. It's in his pockets. Okay, Lester Patterson. It is with great pleasure that we acknowledge the receipt of your application 14F and pre-approval has been granted to raise the weekly premium on your life insurance policy from 370 per week to 590 per week. This raise became effective on January the 1st, 1947, where our standard veteran care policy entitled you a lump sum payout of 10,000 in the event of your untimely death or permanent incapacity, this new plan secures your beneficiary a sum of 16000 Somebody wrote what the fuck on the. We at California Fire and Life thank you and wish you good health and security for your future. Yours sincerely. Okay. Who is Curtis life Benson? Okay. A little life insurance. He done put out a life insurance policy. Well, he upped his life insurance policy. So there could be a motive for death. What else he got? Okay, this is identity. ID. We can notify next of kin. Hold on, what's his name? Okay, Lester Patterson. Okay. That's that's all I see. We're gonna um I'm gonna look around though in the crime scene. Do we got something on his hand? 
Okay, you good right there. Uh, let me see. We don't check the pockets, all of them. Okay, we ain't got nothing else on them. What have you got on the victim? From all reports, he was intoxicated at the time of the accident. I'll know how intoxicated once I've done the autopsy. Looking him over now, I'd say he died on impact. I'm pretty sure he did. Isn't that inconsistent? Very common in auto injuries. Look for a car with a prominent hood ornament. Those things are killers. Okay. Careful where you're stepping, Phelps. I don't come down to the station house and tap dance on your desk. Boy, shut up. Body traveled a good 20 feet. Come on, what you don't you don't come down nowhere and do what? You know, we trying to uh trying to find the killer, bro. Gotta investigate everything. This blood is a long way from the body. The car must have been going like a bat out of hell. That man got drugged. And he must be scared, Mark. So the driver managed to break before the impact. Yeah. What else we got out here? Okay, I'm gonna look around though. Uh, did I check that? Yeah, that's his body. Let me look over here in the trash can and stuff like that. Because sometimes they might. But well, he was hit by. Okay. Bloody knife. See? That's what I'm talking about. Okay. A knife covered in blood. Could be a steak knife. This is a hit and run case, Phelps. Anyone could have thrown away a kitchen knife. Man, with all this blood case, on we'll it. Tech services to scrub the alleyway before they bag the knife. Look in this trash can over here. Okay, so I guess we're finna go talk to this witness. Hold up, I got another. What was that? Sound like I heard some. But anyway, we're finna go over here and talk to her real quick. See what's happening in. It's all yours, detective. Already. Miss Perry? Yes. I'm Detective Phelps. This is my partner, Detective Bukowski. Hey, eyewitness report. Can you tell us what happened? Well, I came to the window because I heard people arguing downstairs. Mm, she telling the truth. Then what happened? I saw a car hit that poor man and knock him down the street. Okay. Suspect vehicle description. What kind of car was it? A dark red Lincoln Continental. She telling the truth. Did you see the license plate? Only the first three letters, I'm afraid. Three C eight. Okay. Argument over here. Tell me more about the argument you heard. Well, there were two voices. A man and a woman. That's all. Mm. Doubt. Why are you holding out on us, Miss Perry? I'm sorry. I was hoping to tell my story to the newspapers. Come I'd on to get now. A picture in the paper. I'm trying to find work as an actress, and things are pretty difficult. Cough it up, sister. We don't have all night. Cough this shit up. People arguing. They were husband and wife. I okay. could tell by what she was yelling. Intimate things. Very embarrassing for the man. Thank you, Miss Perry. Your information has been very helpful. You can go now. You, really you gotta make sure so? you get them questions right. I hope you find that driver and put him away. Okay. You certainly got away with the dames, Phelps. Give it a rest, Burkowski. <laughs> Let's see what the patrons have to say. I'll take the bartender. You work the rest of the room. What's happening, bro? I'm Detective Phelps of the LAPD. How can I help, Detective? Name would be a good start. Dudley Lynch. Hired help. I run the place when the owner ain't around. Well, I need some information. Where is the owner? He stepped out. Somebody had to take more of Mrs. Patterson home. Okay. Hit and run incident. What can you tell me about the accident? Not a lot. It was busy in here, and all I heard was the impact. Uh, lie. Uh, let me see. 
doubt. So what was he doing outside? It's against licensing regulations to drink on the sidewalk. Mr. and Warner were having a fight. The owner made him take it outside. It was pretty ugly. Okay, we were right. Association with victim. Do you know the victim? Yeah, Lester Patterson. He's a regular here, or he was. Okay, he telling the truth. Not one of your favorite customers. Lester was special, but not my kind of special. Was Lester drinking alone? No, he came here with his wife. She didn't seem too interested in the booze, though. <laughs> okay, argument overheard in bar. A witness overheard an argument. Lester and Lorna. There's nothing like airing your dirty laundry in public, is there? Hmm. I guess he... Doubt. Why was Lorna Patterson in such a hurry to leave? What is going on here? Lorna was pretty upset, so Leroy took her home. Lorna and Leroy are close. They've been talking about opening a new bar. Leroy. Okay. Leroy new name. Sabo, the owner. Joint business venture. How long have Lorna and Leroy been talking about this new bar? Uh, who knows? I just served the drinks. He lying. Doubt. Bartenders hear all sorts of things. Are you going to tell me, or do we have to start playing rough? When Lester was drinking, he treated Lorna okay. like dirt. He gambled away all their money. Lorna pitched Leroy about the bar. I don't know how interested he is. Is Leroy doing well? <laughs> Hell no. The only thing keeping this place afloat are the poker games. Okay. Thanks for your help, Lynch. So we got I'm all the in information we need. Sure. No what's problem. up? You get anything out of the regulars? They weren't giving too much away. They liked watching Lester and Lorna go a few rounds every other day. Okay. And Lester was a fan of the love tap. Do we need to talk to anybody? Oh, okay, I see the phone on the map. We need to. I guess we need to call. Get a location. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? I need to run a partial license plate, three Charles eight. Cross check possible Lincoln owners. Well, that's probably a lot of people got them same three numbers on their license Just plate. Just a moment, Detective. Only one possible make on that license. Registered to a William Shelton, 738 West Temple Street. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. That's what I'm talking about. Looks like we caught a break on this one. So we're gonna go pull up. Let my partner drive. Hold up, I didn't mean to take that out. Exit out that. Where I caught it? We're gonna take this. Come on. Partner drive. They won't let me get in this? Okay, we gotta go to our car. I'm gonna say why I can't run. I'm pushing the wrong button. We in here though. We're gonna let the partner drive. You drive. You um, go the case notes. And where exactly are we going? We already at Ray Cav. It's something we done missed here. I just don't know what it is, but we're gonna go to the Patterson residence right now we're going to uh, see his wife talk to his wife see what she talking back I missed something in that calf I don't know what it was though but we ain't tripping Let me in. Yes? Hello? Mrs. Patterson. Is this about my husband? We We're know investigating what it's about. the incident, ma'am. I see. Come in, won't you? Okay. See what she talking about. 
Can you tell me what happened? What's to tell? He got hit by a car and now he's dead. You don't appear to be too upset about the fact. Lester and I met on a furlough in 44. We got married that weekend. People don't understand it now, but that happened a lot back then. I see. So you probably did well to stick it out this long. What's that supposed to mean, mister? She wanted money. I think it's about time you left. No, I you got here. me fucked up. You're gonna have to run that one by us again, sister. It's okay, Lorna. Oh, this the dude. Leroy Sabo. Well, well. Nice to see you're comforting the grieving widow, Mr. Sabo. All right, wise guy. Do you have any intelligent questions you would like me to answer? You can confirm Mrs. Patterson's story. Lester lost at cards. He was kind of hard to control when he lost his temper. He turned without looking and walked right out in front of the car. Whatever. It wasn't good. What's your relationship with Mrs. Patterson, Mr. Sabo? We're friends. Good friends. You expect me you to You hear that? Look, I was filing for divorce. Mental cruelty. Lester could be a mean son of a bitch. And Lester knew about that? No. I hadn't told him. Well, hasn't this worked out well for the two of you? I feel almost bad for busting in on this little rendezvous. Hidden run How incident. How did the car come to hit Lester? He walked straight into the path of an oncoming car. Hmm. Doubt. You expect me to believe that, Lorna? It's all very convenient. Gambling for Lester was like the needle for a hophead. He was yelling at me. He was yelling at the whole world. I kind of felt sorry for the driver. Poor guy had no chance. Okay. Nature of argument. You were arguing in the bar and on the sidewalk. We were always arguing. So what? Mmm. Lie. Don't lie to me. Something was different this time. <laughs> You're clutching at straws. Hmm. Let me see. Victim entire chest wound possibly caused by vehicle hood. Stainless steel blades. I don't know. I should have doubted. it. You married? Oh. The arguments are never any different. Hey. A partnership with Leroy Cyber. The bartender said that you and Leroy were planning to go into business together. Can you explain how you'll get the money to do that? I have a little money saved away. Doubt. Sabo has no money. This place can't be worth much. Where is the money coming from? My father left me this house and some money. Okay. Lester took out a second mortgage. I held on to the money and kept my mouth shut. And that's all I'm going to say on the subject. Oh. I'm leaving, Lorna. But this doesn't add up. We'll be keeping an How eye. How did I get that one in correct? I can't talk to him. So I missed a lot of... Dang. Uh, so I need to go to this phone. We're going to figure this out, though. How do I call? Man, where the phone at? You know, it's not letting me use it. So I guess we need to go to another place. Let me see. You, you drive. drive. Uh, where are we going? We're going to the Shelton resident. I was supposed to use the phone, but I don't. It's a lucky break. I don't know how to use that phone. These cases are usually dead in the water after 24 hours if no one comes forward. Why don't they just stop? We're gonna figure this out. It was some evidence I missed at the little calf. I don't know what it was. The cafe. Okay, this I think is ain't this the crib where they um got the uh car license plate? Oh, this is the dude right here. He trying to hear up and get out of town. 
look at this car. That's the son of a bitch right there. William Shelton? Yes. It doesn't look good, Shelton. You packing your bags and making a run for it? <laughs> you know why we're here. Yes. You're gonna try to run. The accident. We've got witnesses who can put this car at the scene, not to mention the physical damage. This is open and shut, Shelton. I knew they were gonna have him. Let's go. That coward thinks he can run from everything. You gotta apprehend him. Oh! Man. We gotta get him. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. You might got a B12 in that one. Oh! Oh! That's what I'm talking about. Duck off, guy. Let's get it. Lay into his wheel arches. Come on. What it look like I'm doing? No wonder he killed someone driving like this. Let's go. Y'all can't mess with the police. Y'all can't mess away. with the police. Come on with it, bro. Stop the car. Trying to pit maneuver. Turn my siren off. Oh, this boy, he running it, ain't he? He running it. He just don't know the duck off guy behind him. Come on, get out. Yeah, you better give up. That's it. Cuff him and we're done. Get out the car, bro. Put your hands in the air. I Got was him. A killer manslaughter rap sound, Shelton. I hit him. I admit it. I just panicked, but it wasn't my fault. What do you mean? The guy jumped right out in front of me. He came out of nowhere. There's nothing I could do about it. Why didn't you stop? I think they pushed him. I've had accidents before. That's it. We're done here. The DA is going to love you. They weren't all my fault. I'm a surveyor. I need my license for my job. Bro, you over with. People around. A woman and a man were standing right next to him. I thought they could get him to a hospital. I'm telling you, it's not my fault. The guy is dead. How is it not your fault? You can't be serious. William Shelton, you're coming downtown. We need to talk about a manslaughter charge. But we really ain't got no evidence of him doing it. You think though. Mal is done with the autopsy? Better call it in and check, Phelps. Between the driver and the widow, I say we start dealing with the We facts. need to use this phone. Bro, you have to move this car. How do I use the phone? Oh, okay. Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, detective? Are there any messages for me? Just one detective. I think dude was stabbed. The message reads, Phelps, see me at Central Morgue immediately. Results of the Patterson autopsy. Thanks for your help. Yeah, I think he was stabbed. That knife wasn't in that, uh, thing for nothing. You're behind the wheel. I'm going to the morgue. All right. Where to? To the morgue, buddy. Let's go. I bet you he was stabbed. If he wasn't, he was. He was. They pushed him in the in the road. Um. Are we going here? Oh, in here. I'm tripping. We can put the driver in front of a judge in less than a week. You'd be making a big mistake. Run that by me again? The victim was dead before the car hit him. Okay. Two puncture wounds to the right side of the thorax. Second puncture reached his heart. You're kidding me. Been doing this job 23 years, son. No one's ever laughed at one of my jokes. He was stabbed to death? Long, okay. sharp knife. Length of a bayonet. We found a knife in the alleyway. Where is it now? Was it bagged? By Patrolman Kaplan. Perfect. I'll get you a definite match. Jesus, we got him. Murder one. We were right there and they tried to stare us down. 
Now they'll both get the gas chamber. <laughs> we have the knife, we have the coroner's report, and I bet we could roll Sabo as a witness. Let's bring her in. Okay. What the hell? Let me out of here. Get to the car. So, um, do we need to make a call? I don't think so. You know the way. You can drive. Uh. So where you want to go? Patterson resident. I bet you they gonna be on the run. Let's get there. Let's get it. If they ain't already done skip town. We've spoken to the coroner, Mrs. Patterson. He confirmed your husband's cause of death. We'd like you to come downtown and answer some questions. The dude still there? It wasn't me. It was Leroy's idea. Leroy stabbed him. I had nothing to do with it. Where is Leroy now? He's in the bedroom. You're very good, Lorna. Oh, Look man. Down, Leroy. If you do something stupid now, you don't stand a chance in front of the grand I see you to give me up, sweetheart. All that whispering in my ear telling me how we had to get rid of him. <laughs> good it could be. All the money we could claim. All that planning. How to get him into the street. How to make it look like an accident. For God's sake, you Leroy, all shut the up. You is covered, baby. I have nothing to do you with it. You think I'm going to fry for you, He's Lorna? He's a crazy man. Shoot him. Shoot him for God's sake! Dang. It's too late, Sabo. Oh man, I pushed the wrong button. Let's go. Come on. Well, you got me out here running in my new suit. Oh. Sabo, stop or I will shoot. Come on, get him. Oh, I should have shot him. Come on now, don't hit me. Police, police. Let's go. Last chance to surrender, Sabo. Oh man. You come any closer and I will pull the trigger. How long do you think you can hold out? Got him. Help me! Dome shot. That's what I'm talking about. You look spooked, Phelps. I thought you'd been under fire. Oh, before. that boy hit him right in the middle of the Never head. Any easier, I wish I could see where I hit him. It, it looked like they got in the chest, but I hit him in the head. So we might have to uh, question the wife. Oh, this case might be closed. Are oh, we back at the uh, cafe? So I give you a hit and run. You bring me back fraud, conspiracy, oh, okay. and first degree murder. This is how a good detective operates, Phelps. You take nothing at face value. You keep digging and asking questions until you get to the truth. Yo, top flight, bro. Detective. I like That's that. what I do. Keep up the good work. I already know. Achievement unlock golden boy. So hopefully y'all enjoy, like, share, comment, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, links in the description. Get at your boy. Peace.